Okay, let's go over these uh, changes to the building. And first we'll look at uh, end wall A. This is a size that we remove the window on the left side here for the closet. This opening now is six foot wide by six eight tall. This opening is three wide by four tall. Now we'll go to side wall A. Okay, here's the window that is five wide by three tall. And according to Caesar's measurements, it's one foot seven and a half inches off of this bay. Okay, this one is a four wide by four tall and is four foot six inches off the corner of this bay. Now let's take a look at end wall B. This has the same opening size here, which is six foot wide by six eight tall. And both of these windows are four by four tall. Okay, now we'll look at the side wall B. Okay, this one has one window. It's in the center of the bay, and it's four feet wide by four feet tall. Okay, so now let's take a look at the framing. So we'll go here. There's your roof. There are your walls. There's your framing. And so what we wanted to show here is if we go to sidewall A, you can see where the bracing was here. So that's why we couldn't put anything there. If we go to sidewall B, it had the bracing here as well. You can see the dimensions, 40 feet long on the sides, and two 10-foot porch overhangs. The top of this, once you put your wood material on it, which would, we estimate at three quarters of an inch subfloor, you'll be at four foot zero inches on the ground. And that should be it.